So welcome back to uh, Tirana, Albania. We are uh, just moments away here from the opening clean and jerk. Uh, alongside me, Colin Bryce, is uh, former British weightlifter Michaela Breeze. Michaela, well, it looks like uh, the Georgians are, are coming out first. Uh, 188 kilograms, uh, Vaza Gongadza, and that's a little bit of a surprise, perhaps. Uh, Tsidakedzis, who's just slapped him onto stage, was uh, tremendous at this discipline yesterday in the 85s. Yeah, 188, this is two kilos below the weight that he originally posted at the weigh-in, so it's a sign that something's not been going quite right, quite right in the warm-up room. Finished quite comprehensively though on a 168, three out of three, so let's hope he's um, okay, not injured or anything. Just stop it. Oh, he's just lacking leg strength. Very, very soft. You can't even hear his feet landing. It's a sign that a lifter is uh, taking the weight onto their toes. To be solid, dynamic, you need to be landing with flat feet. The difference between landing on flat feet and landing toes first um, is the difference between a soft and a dynamic, solid lift. Well, he was almost stamping his feet out of the back there. Maybe, maybe, maybe they've just said exactly that to him, Michaela. Uh, let's have a look at it again here, the jerk. Really do need to be solid underneath the bar. Regardless, first attempt, he's in the competition. Here comes uh, Team Albania with uh, their man Ervis Tabaku, who hit uh, just one of his snatches, 161 kilograms. He's coming out at 190. This is So let's hope he's put the disappointment of the snatch behind him. His third attempt, he really didn't give it much of a go so again let's hope he's not injured but coming out on the weight that he posted so sounds like he's he's in good shape yeah he barely got the bar past his knees when he dropped it and it looked like he might have tweaked his back soon find out hips go to the side there slightly that's not going to be great for the back Again, a very, very soft jerk, but it went to arm's length. No movement in the elbows. He'll get that. Three white lights. Well, there's, uh, there's the uh, local Albanians who are no doubt friends and family giving him a big cheer. 190 kilograms, and uh, he's got a total. 351 kilograms. It's uh, not ahead of the B-group lifters. 362 is the highest B group lifter from earlier on today. Chernyshov of Ukraine, who hit a 167, 195. Adrian Zhebernia of Moldova, 190. For well, his opener, will take him into second overall just behind it, the B group Ukrainian Chernyshov. Be lucky to get that if you can hold it. You can see him a little bit dizzy there, body shaking under him. That's because the bar was on top of the windpipe, stops the oxygen to the brain. He's okay now. We'll shake that off. He'll have to come out and repeat that on his second attempt. Looked good in the clean, didn't he? And then just uh, just misplacing the bar a little bit. Oh, I was never at arm's length there. With somebody that tall, you've got to drop lower to get underneath it. You've got to be catching the bar at arm's length. You can't afford to be trying to push the last bit. That's when you're going to get ruled out on the press out. Arms were never locked. That would have taken quite a lot out of him. Uh, we're getting a long uh, replay here. I wonder whether he's uh, following himself here. Look at the head height. He doesn't really drop much lower than that. With arms that long, that's an awful long way to move the bar. 
Yeah, I assume he is following himself. He is indeed. Little shot of smelling salts. That would have been a real effort, though. And just two minutes to recover now. There's our jury at the back. Trying to stay awake. Steve Cannon of Great Britain is uh, overseeing the jury today. Our president, Adrian Jabernia, 190 then, his second attempt. And he stands strong again. Again, didn't move the feet very wide, didn't drop his body weight. But the bar went to arm's length this time. He's in the competition. One attempt to go as well, so into second place overall. Still can't believe this guy is only a 94 kilo lifter with that height. Yeah, he's uh, the kind of lifter who could probably stick on a bit more muscle and head on up to the 105s in the future if he wanted to. If uh, such a big frame. Now the Georgian is uh, 168 was his best snatch. He's uh, coming out at 192 for his second effort. Is Vaja Gongadza. And uh, this four kilos would take him up to a 360 kilo total, but I'm afraid it'll still just rank him second. Chernyshov from the B group on 362. Really impressive. Six out of six he hit yesterday. No, thank you. Not today. No. Hobbling off of that right knee. But that, to me, is more of a problem in the head as well. You cannot afford to have any doubt when attempting these kind of weights. You've got to be fully committed. With that injury, by the looks of it, just hampering him, you can see it's in the back of his mind. He is just wincing there as he went down. If he's going to go for this, he's got to go for it, and he's got to try and drive out of that squat position straight away. At this point, you've got to put pain out of your mind and just go for it. Well, the two-minute clock's ticking down here. 192 will remain on the bar for his third and final attempt. He hit uh, a 190 at the under-23 European Championships last year. Same again at the World Championships in 2010. So uh, this is a personal best. That always plays in your mind as well. Trying to break a personal best, especially if it's been there for a, for a couple of years. Great place to do it, though. I'm sure if he does pull this off, there'll be uh, some serious excitement from the Georgians. Not today, no, he's uh, just pulling out of that. Uh, it does indeed look like there's a little bit of an injury there, just hampering him. So third place, 356 kilograms is total at the moment. He's ahead of Tabaku of Albania by five kilograms, but uh, still six kilograms back from our B group lifter, Chernyshov, who still leads this uh, overall competition. And uh, indeed, 195 in the snatch he did. 
So still leads uh, the clean and jerk. Now, the Greek athletes, it's Christos Salcidas, who's coming out at 195. And a bit of a disappointing series in the snatch, hitting just his first attempt at 160. But it uh, still weights well above his uh, personal best on uh, a major platform. So... Uh, Salcides, who hit to just 160 before this, though his clean and jerk is a whole lot better. Actually hit 197 in the European Championships two years ago. So this is actually under his personal best, is snatched well above it. So 195, it's a fail. He'll have two more attempts at that. He's holding his back there, I think. Yeah, it's just de rigueur, really, isn't it, for uh, a weightlifter bad back. Big cheers for uh, the Albanian. It's Ervis Tabaku coming out for his second attempt at 195. Now he's uh, already got a total, hit 190 in his opener. Uh, this will take him up to 356, which actually uh, will not change his position at all. He's currently in fourth. It'll uh, make him go equal with Gongadza on 356. And actually, it's maybe just a slight mistake from his coaches here. One kilogram more because he's uh, the heavier athlete would have uh, taken him up to third. Well, he's really not having a good day. Still getting cheered off the stage here. It's great to see all uh, the locals getting behind their uh, men so well, and women. One attempt left. And now I see why they, uh, the Albanian coaches didn't go for 196, because uh, uh, 195 is, was, is, a, is a huge ask, will be again. Doesn't really drive through the bar before moving his feet. So Saltidis now on his th second attempt, 195. Can he overcome that back niggle that he's clearly carrying to get himself in the competition? Yeah, his uh, weak snatch, I'm afraid. Well, if he does this, will only see him into fourth overall. No. Now we see Salcides in serious trouble here. Two failures on 195. That jerk just doesn't look to be anywhere near. He's clearly carrying some kind of uh, injury with his back. Very quick on the extension. He yeah, needs to move his feet a lot wider than he is. Yeah, he's a reasonably tall man, isn't he? Uh, quite a narrow stance really for such a, a heavy weight right up at his max his personal best 197 well, he'll have uh, one more attempt to come out and do it Ervis Tabaku is on his uh, final attempt 195 again and if he does it it will uh, equal what Chernyshov did we're going to second in the clean and jerk. Well, I thought he'd managed to push through that sticking point there. Just gave up on it as he was coming to the top of the clean. Thanks to the crowd. It's great to compete in front of a home support. But he's going to be desperately disappointed there. 
having only nailed two out of six lifts. 190 he's left with. Well, for, uh, let's be honest, for the Albanian team, that's one of the higher percentages. Uh, without being too mean, they, uh, they've missed, uh, bombed out on uh, a number of categories. And let's just have another quick look at that again. He uh, just didn't have the leg power to drive out of that. And it was a big ask in the end. Christos Salcidas, well, this is a big ask too. 195 kilos, pressure is on here. Everybody wants to total so they can say where they finished at the European Championships. If he doesn't get this, then uh, he would have missed five out of his six lifts just getting his opener in the snatch. Again, the clean, not too much of a bother. More determined, more drive, but, not, but simply not enough. Oh, well, he, uh, I'm afraid he has to bow out there. So, a big disappointment for the Greek athlete. Who, uh, I think, often relies on a big clean and jerk, though. Uh, today, it was his snatch that uh, was far better than he normally does. Well, uh, you can already see the crowd getting behind him. It's David Matam. Great physique on this athlete. 37 years old, the Frenchman, former Cameroonian. And uh, let's see how he gets on here with uh, one, nine, eight. Super strong in the legs. Ooh. Well, trying to use that massive upper body. A little smile there. He knows. Uh, he knows that was a, a silly mistake. Well, strong enough for these weights. We do need to be careful though. Um, watching his arms. Just be looking for any movement in the elbows overhead. The referees are going to be watching very carefully for this. Because remember, he pressed out on a snap, which is very, very hard to do. He pressed out 170 in the snatch. It was, it was phenomenal, really, to have such a tricep power. He has got a bit of a bad lockout, especially his right arm. Watch out for that. But as long as he doesn't have any kind of a flexion there, he should be okay. He hit 202 in France at the World Championships in 2011. This is an athlete who competed all the way back in Barcelona, the Barcelona Olympics. So uh, he picked up the Athens Olympics along the way as well. Really is quite phenomenal for him to keep himself in this kind of shape for so many years. And not only that, to be so close to his personal best, 202. This is a 198 starting weight. This is massive for, for, his, for his opener. Well, I think he thought he was going to get it because on that jerk he was smiling already as he dropped under it. But uh, didn't manage to uh, hold on to it. Wake up time. Second attempt. Matam of France, 198. It will take him all the way up into first overall if he gets it. He will be uh, the first of the A group lifters to go ahead of the top of the B group, Chernyshov. Oh, he's in trouble now. He's going to take his time. This is tactics. Taking his time to get off the platform. The loaders are not allowed on the platform until the lifter is off. So, in essence, giving himself a few more seconds. Playing the game. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, well spotted. <laughs> uh, Matt um, is uh, almost undoubtedly going to follow himself here. Unless he cranks it up uh, a kilo or two. 
and uh, tries to bring in some of his competitors. But if he's not hit 198 uh, on his first two attempts, uh, what would you do here? Oh, for sure, I'd stay on 198. He's an experienced lifter. He should be able to recover. I mean, if he's desperate for time, he could ask for the bar to be cleaned or something. It's obviously quite warm out, out there in the warm-up room. Indeed, yeah. And just, just trying to keep him cool. Just fanning him down with a towel. And now just a little bit of uh, words of encouragement. At 37, it's... Uh, well, you have coaches, but... Uh, you're so senior that often you're older than your coaches at 37, so he's, uh, he can do all the coaching himself, I think. Just some friendly words of encouragement. He knows what he's got to do. His jerks have been the bane of his competitive career, though. Been failed so many times on press outs over the years. That's just one thing he's had to deal with, with his physique. So even if he gets it overhead, the question is, will the judges deem it a good lift? So Francis, big hope here, 198 kilograms. He needs this one. Final attempt in the clean and jerk, having failed two at 198 already. Same weight again. really needs to drive this and he doesn't well just trying to use that upper body way too much and for those lifters that I've been coaching and I'm constantly saying to them use your legs not your arms that's the reason why three out of three failures I'm afraid for David Matam in the clean and jerk really disappointing for France and uh, he will end up with no total at all just three bombers we've had now in the A group. Only two lifters so far have made a total. This really does give the lifters from the B group an opportunity to take a few scalps. Yeah, and of course, Tataru, the Romanian, pulled out injured. Gripping, jaw dropping, super bikes. All the thrills and spills from three continents as riders and manufacturers chase that extra edge. Superbike World Championship from Spain, Sunday, live on British Eurosport 2. The Alfa Romeo Mito, official safety car of the Superbike Championship. decided to be more than just a tick tock kind of clock when time drags i can make it fly because in the end we have a choice do we settle for ordinary or do we strive to be made of more Morris, how did you get in here? When you're a wag, Vic. Doors just open. Oops. Before they clock, I'm a geezer. Give us your best odds on the match. Morris, if you want our best odds, just go on to betvictor.com. We had the best odds most often on the Premier League last season. Ooh. For a free £25 bet, talk to Victor. Complete sports coverage of the major stories and results with Eurosport action on demand. All online at yahoo.eurosport.com. The return of the rocket. Last November, he quit for the entire season. But he's dramatically called off his sabbatical to defend his crown. He's the most charismatic star in snooker, and he wants a fifth world title. He is Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's back, and you don't want to miss it. The World Snooker Championship, from April the 20th to May the 6th, live on British Eurosport and British Eurosport 2.
Alexander Makarenka comes out for 200 kilograms, the, the first man at that huge mark in the clean and jerk. And this will take him all the way up to 366 and into first place overall. Not the most impressive start. Much better in the jerk position. 200 kilos takes the lead. Interestingly, he's reduced his starting weight from 205, which he posted at the weigh-in, down to 200. That may seem fairly good, but we've still got Stanilis, who's desperate to hang on to his bronze medal that he got in the snatch. He looks like he's increasing his starting weight from a 195. Yeah, you can hear Stanlis roaring away backstage, the uh, young Lithuanian who is uh, strong as an ox. Be interesting to see uh, exactly what's uh, going to happen. Yes, it is indeed. Uh, it's to come out to Stanlis who's coming out, fired up. This will take him all the way up into first place overall, having taken the bronze in uh, the snatch. Very strong in the legs. Doesn't really take his time. There's a lot of movement in the upper body. He needs to smile at the referees. Show him he thinks it's a good lift. What do the referees think? He's got it. Bit of cramp in his hands there. <laughs> well, that's not funny. No, it's, uh, he's obviously got his uh, wrist straps on a little too tight as well. That doesn't help that. Fired out the bottom there. He's so strong, isn't he? Only 20 years old. Really doesn't waste any time with a bar on his shoulders needs to be careful needs to be careful of that overhead lock well coming out for 200 as well it's uh, Renat Kireyev of Russia who second who was second after the uh, snatch hit 173 oh, that was strong absolutely nailed that first attempt Coming off slowly, trying to conserve as much energy as possible. But again, he's reduced his starting weight from a 205 down to 200, safely in the competition. Yeah, he goes into first there, though. 373 kilograms his total. So he does lead now ahead of uh, Makaranka of Belarus. We're still waiting for Intergam Zyarov to join in this clean and jerk competition. We've seen every other lifter now. Now, uh, it uh, should be uh, the Lithuanian coming out again, according to our graphic. But uh, it's Zibernia uh, who has uh, wandered out there. And uh, I think just a little confusion. Yes, it, it, indeed, it is Adrian Zibernia who is Zibernia uh, 201 he's going for. So uh, a big old increase from 190 to 201 that's 11 kilograms let's not forget he failed his opener as well Cough. convincing clean well that was for a personal best attempt just dizzy there body shaking he's okay just needs to get the oxygen in he's all right doctors there on uh, standby just in case but that's nothing more than a bit of dizziness lack of oxygen to the brain he'll be okay that was a big ask, 11 kilo increase. Great clean though, wasn't it? Well, just rocketed up with that one, I was uh, very impressed. Well, he did do 200 as a, as a best uh, last year. So this, I guess, was for a, a personal best attempt. Yeah, he stood up very fast there, and of course it popped off his shoulders, and I think it just went back onto his windpipe, didn't quite adjust it properly, and that's what happens. Get rid of the bar before you hit the deck. <laughs> yeah. There's the Lithuanian Stanilis, the European junior, who is uh, starting to look like uh, he stands a very good chance of becoming a European senior medalist as well. He's already got uh, a snatch bronze, so uh, he absolutely will be a medalist, but the overall 
is uh, what we're thinking about here. 377 if he hits this 205. It's his second attempt. He'll go into the lead. Head of Kireyev of Russia. Really making sure that hand's locked onto the bar. You can see he's not happy with it. Blatantly ripped a callus or two. He won't feel that pain right now, though. Fired up. Can he stand? Yes, he can. Oh, goodness. Uh, don't do it. You don't want to mess the other hand up. Yeah. <laughs> Needs to control that aggression. Goodness me. I've seen lifters do that before where they put their fist through the back wall, which is, uh, as you can see there, it's only a temporary fix, um, but it usually costs them a few weeks training. Yeah, exactly. And you get the wrong bit and you, you'll bash something metal instead of uh, wooden. Uh, he's just full of rage, isn't he? I mean, great there to recover from that clean. Looked like he was going to be stuck down there. Well, let's just uh, explain here the relevance of this lift. This will give him the lead that he needs over Makaranka, who is sat on 200 kilos at the moment. Um, Makaranka needs 206 as it stands at the moment to take the bronze medal. You can see the back leg just slipping away there. That yeah. was a desperation dive, I think, to... He knew it was going down. Commitment, though. I mean, he was still struggling with it as his foot was slipping, to be fair. He's uh, not about to bottle anything. No, well, Makaranka now is going to just sit and wait. He's going to push Stanilis out for his third and final attempt, knowing that he needs, at the moment, 2.06 to take that bronze medal away from Stanilis. Stanilis got a difficult time now of trying to recover. I think as long as his foot doesn't slip, he stands a pretty good chance, though. I mean, it was a tiring old clean, wasn't it? But one minute, uh, it's going to be uh, Makaranka. So it's been up, to, I think, by a kilogram. Uh, who's going to be coming out next? There you go. The uh, Lithuanians have decided to go up. Well, he's coming out on this now. This will take the bronze or put him into bronze medal position. And then Stanilis will only have one final attempt to go a bit further. Stanlis has opted for that one kilo increase. He needs the time to recover. Yeah, I think uh, it was a good idea, actually, because he was pretty close to getting that last one. So, Alexander Makaranka, second attempt. Take the lead in this clean and jerk contest. Still yet to see, to see Zyarov of Azerbaijan. He's got the legs to stand with it. Does he have the legs to drive it overhead? Well, he still has one attempt left. Dizzy, you can see him trying to shake away the dizziness there. Stanlis hanging on by the skin of his teeth right now. He's going to be coming out for his third attempt. Well, we're all the way up at 206 kilograms, but actually the, uh, the best at clean so far, clean and jerk, has been 200 Makaranka. He's still in the lead of this clean and jerk competition with that 200 because uh, Stanlis is ever so slightly heavier on body weight, and so is Kireyev. Wonder what uh, Intergam Zyarov is going to come in at. He posted a 2.05 as his entry. You can see him back there. He's just gone off the screen to the left. Uh, the Russians and the Azerbaijanis are next to each other. There he is. Are they coming in now? And it's uh, Makaranka who's following himself, unless he goes up a kilogram, which would seem very unlikely after that last effort. Well, looking in the warm-up room there, we just had a 120 popped. Um, I'm not sure who it was on the platform to the right as we look at it. That's a sign that these lifters on the top weights, Zyarov and Kiriev, are ready. Um, they've just popped a lighter weight in there just to keep the body ticking over, to keep the legs firing. Coach well, just asking there if you want to lift as well. Makaranka just shot past the camera there, so he's obviously charging out of this 2.06. Uh, he ran out of time to uh, change it and go up. Final attempt then to 
take him up to a 3-7-2 total up from third to second ahead of Stanilis and into the lead of the clean and jerk. Well, his uh, lifted 200 actually still holds him in the lead of the clean and jerk, but he's missed his chance of leapfrogging uh, Stanilis there in the overall. So really very little hope for him now of getting uh, an overall medal with uh, Zyrov still to join the competition. Likely he'll end up uh, down in uh, fourth position. Zyrov has gone up again from 207. This is his second attempt at changing his weight. I'm not sure what he's gone to, but it's forcing Stanilis out now on 207. Yeah, well, he missed his 205, remember. Uh, I thought he might go 206, but 207 it is. And uh, his back foot slipped in the last attempt. So I think he's got the brute power to do this. So whether he can keep his cool here. Such an aggressive lifter. Just out of the junior ranks. European junior champion. Just a quick glance at the clock. He knows how long he's got. Well, it was a fast deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, he has done 208. He did that last year. But a really entertaining lifter. Uh, about as entertaining a lifter as uh, there has been so far. It's just full of rage and excitement about being here. It's brilliant to see in a young weightlifter. Lots of fire in his belly. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of this Lithuanian who is uh, only just 20 years old. And uh, let's not forget, he sits in second place. This is uh, Zyarov, who's coming out now onto the platform, his opener at 208 kilograms. And uh, it uh, means that Stanlis will, uh, with uh, his 200 kilograms of the cleaner joke, he's uh, guaranteed himself a, a bronze medal overall. Well, a little bit of uh, chopping and changing here. It's uh, actually going to be Kireyev who's coming out at 2.08. So, uh, Sairov perhaps going for uh, 2.10. Sticks it with ease. Well, very convincing there. 200, 208, uh, there's uh, definitely more in the tank there. He's going to need uh, every bit of it to try and push uh, Zyrov uh, with his final attempt. I mean, it, it's, uh, it'll be a huge ask. Let's not forget he has uh, seven kilograms uh, of difference between himself and Zyrov. Really, Zyrov just needs to come in and do a lift, and he's won the European title. One lift should do it. Uh, you don't want to leave it too late. Uh, take it to too high on his first attempt, but he's obviously feeling good. We saw that in the snatch. He hit three out of three. He has a sort of swagger to his backstage manner that would suggest things have gone very well uh, in between the snatch and the clean and jerk here. 210 then, his opener. And uh, it's still well below what he has done at his best. A 215 personal best. Sixth place that got him in London with uh, a 182 snatch. You reckon that's well below? I reckon this is uh, this is going to be a big ask on a first attempt at this body weight. Only five kilos below his best. Oh, that's soft in the arms. What do the referees think? He knows it wasn't as good as it could be. Yeah, he really did leave that very late, didn't he? I mean, looking back at this uh, contest uh, in uh, a few minutes' time, you're going to see, yeah, the red light from the middle judge. You, you, you were right. He's lucky to get that two to one. Uh, I mean, if he'd have come out and failed this weight now, I mean, he only had to have come in at uh, 205, 206 probably by the end of this, and he, he would have... Uh, that should have got him the European title there. I mean, we can say that now. He is uh, very far ahead 
of uh, the other competitors now with uh, his snatch of 180 and that 210 puts him on 390 Kiriev is nine kilograms behind on total so uh, in reality Kiriev's gonna have to come out and try and attempt a 217 in fact a 218 because he's lighter body weight oh sorry heavier body weight he's never gonna do that surely well question is what's he got to lose he's guaranteed the silver medal you can see now this becomes a, a battle in the warm-up room with the coaches tactics um, are going to be coming into play they will take probably their two attempts at changing the weights to try and buy some time in terms of recovery I think we can say that Zyrov is, is going to be the European champion now. That's almost without doubt, I think. Uh, this is really for the clean and jerk gold. Unless uh, Kiriev is really going to try and crank it up to uh, 2 8, 217. Surely not. I think he's put it up to 215, 215 at the moment. Yeah, so he's going, this is his final attempt. He's going for the clean and jerk gold, isn't he? This is not high enough to uh, take him above But is Zyrov that, he might just be buying total. time. Let's just wait. This is 215. having trouble keeping track of what's going on here we can't see the scoreboard quite as uh, as well as we want to well Zyrov is uh, now following himself so two minutes were popped onto the clock there 215 is what's on the bar he's still got one minute 50 odd seconds there so he doesn't need to rush here at all second attempts come before third attempts hence why Zyrov is coming out now if he is successful with this, that really will, I think, push the competition well out of reach of Kiriev. If, however, he misses this, Kiriev, we might see, pushed to 118. He's got nothing to lose. No, he doesn't, because uh, he's already got uh, the silver medal overall wrapped up. He might as well go for the overall gold. This one to put it out of reach. Well, he's got it. Look at that. Can he stand still? Yeah, that's it. It's gone. That's uh, another tremendous lift from Intergam Zyrov of Azerbaijan, who has hit five out of five so far. He's still got one in the bank to take if he wants, if he needs it. But that may well be uh, get him a sweep of the goals. That was a really convincing lift, and uh, let's not forget, Kiriev is now jumping seven kilos, even if he does 215 here. I think we may see Kiriev here go up to 216, just to have a shot at the gold medal on the clean and jerk. I think the gold medal overall is out of his reach, though. That was some superb lifting by Zyrov there. Well, he's coming out for 216, uh, absolutely, as you guessed it there, Michaela. He's going for clean and jerk gold here this will not affect his overall place he's guaranteed the silver eight kilos up from his second attempt superb lifting he's put himself in with a chance of the gold medal only one lifter now can deny him yeah that was a that was a punch in the air but it was also a, I wish I had one more attempt kind of look in his face wasn't it because that flew up I mean uh, you, you're kind of questioning now why did he open at 200 when he nailed 216 so convincingly well I've got his best down here is only a 204 so to come out and get 208 on his second attempt was a was a big personal best yeah to then jump another eight kilos you've got to be thinking he's on his limit that was sensible tactic sensible call there by the coach to to put him in gold medal position on the jerk yeah the 204 was at a lighter body weight uh, he's stepped up in weight so I guess with uh, what uh, nine kilograms extra body weight that would give him uh, a whole lot more muscle to uh, heave it overhead but you're right it is way above his personal best at any body weight now this is uh, the final lift for uh, Intergam Zyrov, final lift of the contest. And uh, uh, he's going for the same weight, I think. This will put him back into the gold medal on the jerk by virtue of lighter body weight. Yeah. Final lift of the contest to take the sweep of the gold. I think he's got it. He has. 
He's Bring done it, on. it. Yeah, well done. Intergam Zyrov. Six out of six. Well, a bit of wrist pain. You can worry about that uh, for another time. Right now, big celebrations. 210 all the way up to uh, 216 here 173 up to 180 and his snatches all of them clean all of them uh, solid his total in the end 395 kilograms that's uh, six kilograms ahead of anybody else so uh, well done to the azerbaijani athlete there a sweep of the gold medals the final one just by virtue of body weight same as uh, the Russian managed Rinat Kiriev. Well, another great category, Michaela. Uh, more great lifting. And, uh, well, uh, the Russians for once not getting uh, it all their own way. I think, uh, really, Kiriev will look back on this contest and think what could have been. He uh, maybe couldn't have taken the overall combined because... Uh, by uh, the Azerbaijani there doing that 